Good morning, everybody. Joe Simpson here. Just got back from fishing. It's 9 a.m. I'm cooked. I'm so tired. Um, I got up about 4.30 this morning to go out early, and I wanted to do some topwater fishing with my friend Pat. And we went to these uh, three ponds that we like over in Fairfax. And we just thought we'd give it a whirl. And we started off, and we had frog rods. We had some poppers and we had some alternative topwater baits. I'll just talk a little bit about what worked and what didn't work. So uh, the first pond we went to was really nasty, had a lot of cover and was really tough to fish and actually tough to walk around. So the first thing I was throwing was a booyah frog. I think they call it a pad crasher, but I'm not sure. But it's just a little frog, I had a frog trailer, didn't get a bite on it. Um, tried poppers, tried all kinds of things, nothing worked. And then finally I threw on this, the old Teckle Sprinker Frog. So I put this boy in the water and threw it out for a couple casts. So it's like a dark green, nothing real fancy. You know, just a basic frog from Teckle. And I swam that through the water two or three times. Sorry, my voice is still going in and out. And um, about the third time I was reeling it in, it just got kerplunked about 10 feet out from the shore. And uh, I didn't even really notice the hit and the line started walking. So I just set on it and I caught a really nice bass, about three pounds, close to three at least. Um, and then from there at that one pond, I caught nothing else. That was it. So then we moved up to our other ponds. I was having some real success with, believe it or not, this little thing. So this little thing was tearing it up today. Um, I wasn't catching the biggest fish, but it's a little um, swimming mouse or tiny rat. And it really looks good. It's a jointed body, so when it goes through the water, it kicks back and forth. I got this off of AliExpress underneath the, the tackle section. It has a really realistic looking face and paint detail. And it's kind of a wake bait. It floats and then when you reel it in, it shoots under the water about that far. And then it just ziggle, ziggle zaggles back and forth. Those are words, ziggle and zaggle. Look it up in the dictionary, not really. It zigzags back in the water and then you let it rest. It floats, you let it rest. And then I had some really good success as well on surprise surprise this teeny pop bar in the sexy shad it happens to be my favorite popper right now the size the color everything and I put a custom uh, feather tail on the back that tail was made by my friend Chris Buchan um, he's taking orders just kidding um, but anyway the popper and the little swimming mouse so what was working about those I don't know that it was necessarily either bait but what seemed to work on both of those all the time is when I would bounce it off of like a concrete wall or hit the grass first and drop it into the water the way we were fishing, um, a couple of times I would get tangled up and then I would look down, have to mess with my rod and it'd take me a few minutes to get things cleared. And then by the time I was ready to fish, as soon as I moved that lure, bam, they would hit. So it was pretty much evidence that the long pause was the key today. So sometimes as hard as it is, when you're throwing that top water, just let them sit there those fish will swim up and they'll just sit there and look at it and look at it and look at it and the next time it moves boom they'll just nail it and that seemed to be what they were doing on my stuff and there are a couple times today they'd hit it on the move but for the most part if that bait had sat still for 30 or 45 seconds it was much more likely to get hit as soon as I started moving it after that big pause so um, I guess the lesson learned is have some patience and wait for your lures to do their work because a lot of times fish just need a little time to look at things and then figure it out and then as soon as the bait moves again they're ready to roll but anyway enjoy some of the fishing i'll show you some of the catches and i'll try to cut through it as quickly as i can all right guys it is 5 a.m the moon is up we're gonna get some go to work today i remember these tackles i paid 30 bucks for one of these Come on, tackle frog. So I'm running a dark green tackle. Pat. Oh yeah, a good one. Tackle frog. Oh yeah, he's a three and a half. Woo! 
Now that's a donkey. Dark green. Look at that tank. Cool. That's a good fish, man. Isn't that cool? Um, yeah. Uh, here, here, if you get bored, this is what I want for someone. Man, they are lively. Pat. Fish. Fish. A long, a long pause. So, uh, rat. So I hit the bank, it came off the wall. I had a snag and then I played with it for a long time. And then I pulled it, the first time I pulled it, they jumped it. So. Maybe we're too much in a hurry. It's not even a big one, but he was kicking pretty good. There we go. Got some popper action here. My favorite lure. You would think they'd go. Give them a nice little teeny more. Oh! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Better than the last one. That's a good one, too. Look at that skating across the water like that. Wow. Cool, thanks. Uh, nice fish, man. Nice fish. Uh, let's see if I can stick one over in that point. Another one on the rat. Another one on the rat. I felt like it came across a rock. It's a little guy. I'll swing him up. I didn't mean to bang him off that concrete. <clears throat> Okay, 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 okay. Relax. I know. It's not what you expected. Okay, there we go. He just boogered up his lip just now doing that. Little guy. I'm gonna fish brain it. Lost my tail. Good ways. Stick it way in there. There we go. There we go. Mouse fish. <laughs> little dink. The little ones like the mice. Uh oh. Go that way. There you go. He took it so subtly. It look, went away and it looked like a uh, a bluegill took it. Like was grabbing its tail, you know? It was definitely a tail nab. That's so weird. Not bad. Channels. Hey again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. For anybody who subscribes to my channel and anybody that likes my stuff, please subscribe. Doesn't cost you or hurt you. Just jump on there and watch my videos from time to time. It's cool. Um, I'm at 650. Like to get up to 1,000. Um, I think I'll get there soon. But gonna keep cranking videos. Keep fishing, of course. And I'll talk to you guys later. See you.